What do you say? Will you keep quiet? Come on, come back and greet me, way. Uh -huh. Come back. Come back and Is this greet me, way. You where you are coming uh? from? Come back and greet me, way. Give yourself! Give yourself! Give yourself! Give yourself! Welcome to another edition of Easy Mass Tutor and I want to say welcome to my returning subscribers and thank you for those that always make sure they are on this show watching. So today we're going to talk about polynomials. So we're going to solve a quick question or so many other problems on polynomials. So first of all, before we move ahead, we have different terms that we use when we describe polynomials, polynomial is a, a, a function that has variables, all right? A variable could be x, y, z, a, b, c, any letter, but it's actually a, a term in the equation that is not known. So polynomial, you have a monomial. A monomial function has only one term. A binomial has two terms, a trinomial has three terms, and so on and so forth. And then also, among those terms, the variable could be raised to power 1. If the variable x is raised to power 1, it's known as a first degree polynomial. If the variable x is raised to power 2, it's known as a second degree polynomial. If the variable has if in the term one of the variables x is raised to a third power it's a third degree what polynomial while if um, this term or expression has a has a variable raised to the fourth power it is known as a fourth degree polynomial and then if the variable x raised to power five it's known as a fifth degree polynomial all right it doesn't matter the position of that that variable all right so long as it's the highest power in that expression and it has five or whatever number then it is what the fifth degree and then if it's a it's a variable that is raised to power zero is known as the zero degree polynomial x raised to power 0, right? And we know x raised to power 0 will give us 1. x raised to power 0 will give us 1. So 1 times 9 will give us what? 9. Therefore, 9 is a 0 degree polynomial, right? So let's identify these polynomials, right? So this will call this a monomial because it has only one term. Why will we call this other one a binomial? Because I can see two terms. Why I will call this a trinomial? Because I can see three terms. This will be called a binomial. This will be called a binomial. This will be called a monomial. Okay, welcome back. So, adding polynomials. Adding polynomials. So we're going to add polynomial in a horizontal format. Now the horizontal format involves arranging the terms, the additions, into like terms. All right. So first of all, we'll open up the bracket. Since it's a plus sign, means if we open up this bracket, nothing much will happen to this polynomial. So we'll have two x cubed minus five x squared plus x plus 2x 
square plus x cubed minus 1. Right? So we're going to arrange these according to your like terms. So each term has to have the same what? Variable with the same power. So we we'll arrange all the terms that have x raised to power 3 together, right? So we say 2x raised to power 3 plus what? Plus x raised to power 3, all right? So we have, we've removed, we've arranged this one and we've arranged what? This one. So the next one is what? Minus 5x squared. So we say minus 5x squared. So which other term has x squared? This one, right? So we say plus 2x squared. So we're left with this term. A one degree or a first degree what? Term. So we'll write plus x. And then we're left with a zero degree variable term. So we'll have minus one, right? So if we're adding up 2x cubed plus x cubed, first of all, just write x cubed, right? So we say 2 plus 1 will give us what? 3, right? Then the next term is x squared. So we say minus 5 plus 2. Remember what I said about adding negative and positive numbers? So the number that is more negative is higher, is greater. That's 5. So we say 5 minus 2, that's 3. Therefore, the answer will be negative, minus 3. Then we have plus x and minus 1. So this is the solution for adding this. This is the solution for adding this polynomial. But we use the horizontal method. So we're going to use the vertical method right now. All right, so we're going to add this vertically, okay? So the vertical way of adding polynomials is just a way of rearranging these polynomials, right? So we're going to write it in a vertical method. We first of all, write the first part, the first polynomial, which is 3x squared plus x minus 6, right? Then we're going to write the other one. We're going to write x squared plus 4x plus 10. And then we're going to add it up. So first of all, add this. We'll write x squared down. And then we'll add 3 plus 1. We know there's an imaginary one in front of every empty term. So, or empty variable. So to be 3 plus 1 gives us 4. And then we're going to add First of all, write x here, and then we'll add 4 plus 1, which will give us 5. It's positive, so we'll put our plus sign. And then here, there is no variable, right? Here. Or is a variable raised to power 0. That's a 0 degree. So we'll say 10 minus 6 will give us what? 4. And 4 is positive. So that's our answer, and that's how to add up polynomials vertically. So right now, we're going to subtract polynomials with this problem. We're finding the difference between 6m squared plus 3, it's bracket, minus, another bracket, minus m squared plus 2m, minus 1. So we're going to solve this horizontally. We're going to solve this horizontally. We're going to open up the brackets, all right? So we'll open up this first bracket. We have 6m squared plus 3, right? We'll open up this bracket. There's a negative sign. So we're going to, this negative sign, we're going to multiply by each of the terms, right? So we'll say, assume this is minus 1, right? Minus 1 times minus m squared will give us plus m squared. Minus times plus 2m will give us 
minus 2m. Minus times minus 1 gives us plus 1. As you can see, minus will always overshadow the plus. So we're going to rearrange it according to their like terms. We have, we're going to rearrange the terms together. See these two terms will be placed together, right? Then the others will also be placed accordingly. So we have 6m squared plus m squared. The next following is 2m minus 2m followed by plus 3 followed by plus 1. Alright? So we put m squared here. 6 plus 1 will give us 7. We have 2m plus 3. 3 plus 1 plus 4. So this is our answer when we subtract polynomial. Now I'm going to solve the same problem vertically, right? So we rearrange it, we'll have 6m squared, right? Let's just leave it there. Then we have minus m squared, all right? Plus 2m minus 1. And then we have plus 3. Okay, see what I did there? I had to jump because there is no term with one degree in this polynomial. There's no term with what? One degree in this polynomial. It's actually zero. So here there'll be a zero. Okay, so we can say plus zero m. So let's subtract this. Subtracting this, right? So first of all, we'll write m squared. So we say 6 minus minus 1. 6 minus minus 1. 6 minus minus 1, right? Will give you 6 plus 1. Will give you 7. So we'll have 7 here. All right? Then we have, we we'll say, 0 minus 2. Because of this minus, this minus has affected this minus. This minus has affected everything in this bracket, right? So it's going to be 0 minus 2, which is minus 2. So this answer will be minus 2. And then the last one, we have plus 3. Minus minus 1. Alright? So that will give us 3 plus 1, which is the same thing as 4. So this is my answer for subtraction of polynomials. So please stay tuned for our next edition of polynomials where we are going to divide, multiply and factorize polynomials. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Have a wonderful and lovely day ahead of you. Bye. Uh -huh. This life, no balance. <laughs> this life, no balance. <laughs> <laughs> You are not Jesus! Yes! Jesus! Jesus! Jesus!